Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Um, Scottish referendum vote with no um, to independence last night, causing most um, UK equities to, to spike up, but we've also seen a continuation of the bed remarks from Thursday and that extra liquidity uh, injection from China as uh, pushing on equity markets even higher. Um, as you can see there, the um, US there is comfortably at an all-time ever high, uh, closing in at 70,400. Most equities have spiked higher right across the board. So looking at UK 100, you can see the, um, the very bullish candle we've had today. We just briefly touched uh, on a, a recent high, we saw at 66,906 um, was, was a previous high there in the 4th of September, almost got there today uh, before dropping back down again. It'll be interesting to see if we get a re-challenge of that later. But quite bullish momentum on the back of that. Um, no vote, 55 to 45 uh, percent. It was quite a comfortable victory there. Japan 55, moving really nicely forward, reaching multi-year highs. And we're getting well, actually, it's not quite above this uh, the, this Jan uh, second position right there. But if we were to break that a little bit higher above there, that is on to eight-year highs, and um, that is the next potential resistance level. So let's get that on there. Um, that's going to be worth looking at, and that's of course because dollar yen has only been going one direction, closing in so close to 110. Um, we're at 109 spot 19 just now on the on the back of the, the recent moves in the US dollar. But that, that sterling spike has actually aided dollar yen. Um, but as you can see, there 16.382 the next potential resistance Japan 25. So dollar yen goes from strength to strength. Um, 110 spot 77 is the next potential resistance, and we are getting very, very close to that right now. Very overextended move to the upside, all technical indicators in the spot, um, but there's still a lot of very positive uh, USD fundamentals out there, and risk is certainly back on the table uh, as most equity markets are rallying uh, quite strongly this morning. So moving on to crude oil, West Texas, uh, I just can't get a break as ever. Dropping back down to 92 spot 85, I'm looking at 91 spot 28 as the next potential support. Um, fundamentals behind this should still actually be uh, pretty decent with the, the, the Chinese liquidity, um, injection, potential stimulus, but that US rate hike um, just won't go away. And there's still that worry that it's been damned from global demand long term. So 91 spot 28 is the next potential support level should that open up. Gold getting hammered again back down to 1218 is next as that potential support. Next potential support would be 1180. Uh, and again, that's very heavily influenced by US rates and the strength of the US dollar. So Euro dollar um, not really doing a huge amount, bouncing around these levels there just now. Nothing really too much to report. You know, potential resistance still remains one spot there, easy zero zero. Next potential support one spot twenty seven forty six. It just needs to decide um, what the next raft of the eurozone data is going to be like. Are they going to cut rates uh, over in the eurozone or not? Especially when the US uh, seems their economy seems to be recovering faster than many of the other uh, adult markets. So GBP USD rallied very strongly uh, at the start of the session, getting just about to ninety five twenty two. Sorry, 65.22 before drawing back down below potential um, resistance at one spot, 64, 63. And um, we could really do with this actually getting above this potential resistance level. Otherwise, the pressure could bring it back down to one spot, 62, 65. Technical indicators should actually be giving a little bit of extra boost, as you can see there in the slow stochastic there. Uh, and the RSI, and we've got a crossover in the MACD, a whole bunch of buying signals on there, um, but we've not capitalized on that move to the upside. So there are there is some selling pressure on cable this morning, um, close to one spot six five yeah, yeah. Yeah. So economic day wise, nothing really too much to report today. Um, let's fast forward on to Monday. Monday's not really that exciting. Tuesday you've got Chinese PMI, um, UK public sector borrowing. So basically for the right, end of the week the and also the for the um, we start of next week there's not a lot of fundamentals very much technically driven but all the major news are pretty much out of the way i can see the uk banking sector has just had a massive business morning rbs up almost three and a half percent lloyd's up 1.6 and barclays up 1.4 as the uk breathes a sigh of relief that uh, independence has not, uh, has not materialized this time around. And to keep your eye on the chart form as ever, I'm sure there'll be a lot of interesting charts to look at today. Big insights part of the going forward and join me again um, shortly to find out what happened next.